Welcome to our lesson about creating a cross break. We're going to start by activating the cross break tool. This tool adds a graphical representation of a cross break to a sheet metal part. In other words, the actual part won't change in 3D. SolidWorks prompts us in the Property Manager to select a planar rectangular face for cross break insertion. We can reverse the direction by clicking here. We can specify the radius as well, and an angle. Lastly, we need a sketch profile. I'm going to remove these relations and move this point somewhere here. SolidWorks gives me a warning message. One of the endpoints of the cross break sketch is not on one of the faces or edges. Let's fix this problem. And the sketch is now valid. And the sketch remains valid with our correction. Let's click Finish to accept the cross break. As you see, the part itself didn't change visually. It's only a graphical representation of a cross break. But let's see how it looks in a drawing. Let's make a drawing from this part. We'll accept the default options. OK. And here we have the lines which represent the cross breaks. This concludes our lesson about inserting a cross break.